In this video, we cover the concepts of a short circuit and an open circuit. A short circuit is defined as a circuit in which no voltage is dropped across a circuit element. A special case of this occurs with resistors, but it's important to understand that that's the definition. A short circuit is any time a circuit element has no voltage dropped across it. All right, you can say that that element was shorted. For a resistive element, a short circuit also implies by Ohm's law that there is no resistance. Or at least very little resistance in the practical world. Now, you have to be careful about that because, for instance, capacitors have no resistance and many other things have no resistance and that does not imply they are shorted. So for instance, if you happen to measure that this voltage is zero, even though you're sending two amps to it, then zero volts has to equal two amps times R. So R is zero volts over two amps is zero ohms. And that shows you that that's the case. A short circuit for a resistor is a circuit that has no resistance. Now what we do is we're saying that you can just take this in your circuit diagram and replace it as follows. There we go. There's these two points right here. And we'll just replace that with a conductor, a wire. Because after all, a wire is an equipotential surface, therefore there's no voltage drop. So you can replace a shorted element with just a wire in the diagram and then do the analysis of the problem. Definition of an open circuit. An open circuit is when no current flows through a circuit element. That's its definition. An open circuit is when no current flows through a circuit element special case for a resistor. For a resistor element, an open circuit also implies Bohm's law that there is an infinite, or very large anyway, resistance. So for instance, in this particular thing, if you had this is your circuit element and we know that the current is equal to zero, even though let's say VAB was 10 volts, so it's 10 volts divided by R, then the only way that could be is that R has to equal infinity. And again, you may in this case replace the circuit element, whatever it is, with a broken wire like that in doing your analysis. All right, that covers this video.